Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, April the 1st. It's the fourth week in Lent and week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, and verse 33 to 48, and Jeremiah 23, verse 9 to 15. And a programming note here for you, uh, next week the Daily Office will be on hiatus while I travel to Philadelphia for a retreat with the Mercy of God community. Now let us sing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice. With all your tongues God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground. Psalm 107, and please recite it with me. <clears throat> God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness, because of the wickedness of them that dwell there. <clears throat> God turns the wilderness into a pool of water, and water springs from dry ground. And there God makes the hungry dwell, that they may prepare a city in which to live. And sow the fields and plant the vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. And God blesses them so that they are multiplied, and did not let their cattle herds decrease. They are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. God pours contempt upon rulers and makes them to wander in the wilderness. And yet God frees the poor from affliction and multiplies their families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, but all iniquity shall shut her mouth. Those who are wise will observe these things. They shall know the loving kindness of God the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God turns rivers into a wilderness and the springs of water into dry ground. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23, beginning at verse 9. Concerning the prophets, my heart is crushed within me and all my bones are trembling. I become like a drunken man, like one overcome by wine, because Yahweh and his holy word, for the land is full of adulterers. The land mourns because of a curse. The pastures of the wilderness are dried up, for they run to do evil, they strain to do wrong. For both prophet and priest are godless. Even in my house I find their wickedness says the Most High. Assuredly, their path shall become like slippery ground. They shall be thrust into darkness, and there, there they shall fall. For I will bring disaster upon them, the year of their doom, declares the Most High. In the prophets of Samaria I saw a repulsive thing. They prophesied by Baal, and led by people Israel astray. But what I see in the prophets of Jerusalem is something horrifying, adultery and false dealing. They encourage evildoers so that no one turns back from his wickedness. To me, they are all like Sodom and all its inhabitants like Gomorrah. Assuredly, thus says the Most High of Hosts concerning the prophets, I'm going to make them eat wormwood and drink a bitter draft. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, godlessness has gone forth into the whole land. Here ends the lesson. 
Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. And for the Mercy of God community on retreat this weekend, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Mercifully, hear our prayers, O God, and spare all those who confess their sins to you, that those whose consciences are accused by sin may by your merciful pardon be absolved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.